Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you my books na binili ko for my law school. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell set to be a subscribe. Or you can just simply click the click here na circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. So ngayon nga po is I'm going to share to you my books because some of you were asking kung ano nga bang mga books na kailangan for first year sa first sem. So guys, so this is the day. I just hope that you are watching and I just hope that I'll be able to help in some ways by sharing to you my books. So let's start. Okay guys, sa law school ngayon, I'm first year po tapos first sem. So ngayon, so I have 18 units in total tapos 6 subjects. So una is I have my persons and family relations. Tapos is I have criminal law, I have constitutional law, statutory construction, legal research, tsaka legal profession. Unang question, required ba po talaga ang book sa law school? Answer, well, technically hindi siya required guys because hindi naman siya kailangan i-record ng professors nyo kung may book ka na or wala. But I tell you, it is highly recommended to have your book. Bakit? Because the professors po are very dependent po sa book. Sa books po kasi, andun na yung lahat ng articles, lahat ng provisions sa articles, tapos meron pa dun yung mga annotations ng mga justices. By being said, yung mga authors po ng mga books natin sa law school are usually mga justices sa Philippine Supreme Court. May mga commentary sila, mga explanations nila na nakalagay po sa books. Kaya I will say, recommended talaga na may book ka sa law school. Yun nga, sinabi ko, yung mga professors po are very dependent. Yung flow ng discussion nila are usually based sa flow po ng discussion sa book. So, mas maganda talaga na meron kayong book. Tapos, yung mga example ng cases, yung mga landmark cases po, yung mga jurisprudence na swak po sa isang article, isang provision sa article, are provided po sa book. Kaya, mas maganda talaga na meron ka pong book. So guys, here are the books that I bought. Let's start with Constitutional Law. I bought this one online kasi wala namang ganitong available sa National Bookstore dito sa amin sa Bohol. So I bought this one online sa Central Bookstore. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, I'm gonna put the link below sa my description box if you want to check this for yourself. So I bought this for I bought this for 2,000 pesos kasama na po yung shipping fee doon. So yun, I bought this one online. And yes guys, gamit na gamit ko to sa Constitutional Book, sa Constitutional Law, especially that our professor is basing talaga everything sa book na ito. This one, ang author ng book ng Constitutional Law ko is sina Isagani Cruz and Carlo Cruz. So this one, uh, edition is 2015 edition, Constitutional Law from Central Bookstore. Next po, for my criminal na law na subject, I have this book. This one is the Revised Penal Code Criminal Law Book 1. Uh, articles 1, 1 to 113 lang po siya kasi this is book 1. So may book 2 pa. And ang author nito is si Luis B. Reyes. Yung edition na ginagamit namin ngayon is 2017. Para 2017 do siya. Okay? So I bought this one uh, online then because naubusan ng ganito sa National Bookstore. So I had it uh, bought online sa Rex Bookstore. I'm gonna put the link below. So you can check this one out for yourself. So if you notice po, marami na po akong ginawang mga ano dito. Because nga, sabi ko, yung professors po namin ay dependent sa book talaga. So, lahat ng discussion nila are based dito sa flow ng book na ito. So, again, mas maganda pag meron kang sarili mong book. Okay. Next guys, for my persons and family relations or civil law na subject, we're using this book. This one is by Paras. Yung author is si Paras. Edition nito is 2016 edition. Yung title is Civil Code of the Philippines Annotated Persons and Family Relations Article 1 to 413. So yung author nga is si Justice Edgardo L. Paras. So ito yung gamit ng professor namin. So we have to buy our copy as well. So this one, nabili ko siya online sa Rex Bookstore. And nabili ko siya for 2,205. Hindi pa kasama yung shipping fee doon. So far, ito yung pinakamahal ko na book na nabili online. And nabili for my law school. Ito guys. So far, andito na kami. Ito yung coverage ng prelim namin. Ito. Ito yung prelim namin na coverage. So, we had to read this one for our hell week. So, this one is for civil law. Next, uh, my next subject is statutory construction. So, according to our professor, si attorney, sabi niya, she'll be using two books for her reference. But, we were informed na ito talaga yung dapat namin na, na ma-purchase. O, dapat na meron kaming ganito na book because dito talaga siya nagbe-base ng kanyang mga lectures. 
most of the time. Okay? So this one, this first book is from Rolando Suarez. Yung author is si Rolando Suarez. Statutory Construction. 2015 na edition, guys. So, ito, ito ata yung pinaka, yung latest so far na edition na ginagamit ng aming instructor. So, I bought this one for 1,065. If hindi ako nagkakamali. 1,065 from the Rex Bookstore. Online ko ito nabili, guys. Ang second book naman for Statutory Construction was by the author na si Agpalo. Kaya lang, wala akong book na Agpalo kasi nga, hindi na ako bumili because mahal siya and makapal siya, guys. And yun na nga, sabi naman ni attorney, dito siya more or less magbe-base ng mga discussion niya. So, ito na nagbinili ko. Tapos, kung may mga kukunin man siya sa Agpalo, eh, ginagawa ko, nagpapa-photocopy na lang ako dun. Masyadong gumastos para dun. So, again, this one is statutory construction. Okay, the last book I'm going to share to you guys that I have for my subject is for uh, legal research. So, this one. This one is for my legal research na book. So, uh, the author of this book is si Milagro Santos Ong, yung author nito. And we are using the 2013 edition. So, dito guys, sa din to nabibili. So, you can check the, the link that I'm going to provide below if you want to check the books. Okay, so far, yun lang naman yung mga gamit ko na books for this sem. And yung sa legal profession namin, we were not told kung anong mga book na gagamitin. So, hindi na ako bumili ng books. So, yun guys. Anyways, I tell you, medyo mahal siya guys, yung books. You have to really invest sa books. But I tell you, yung books talaga are very helpful sa law school journey nyo po. So, I recommend you buy your own book. But anyways, question. Necessary ba na the same yung edition na gagamitin o latest na edition na gagamitin? Well guys, I tell you, hindi siya necessary na the same yung edition na gagamitin nyo. Because so far, may mga, kung may mga amendments man sa mga articles, ikonti lang. Tapos kung may amendments man, i-available yun sa website ng judiciary. So, not necessarily nga, you have to buy the, the latest edition. Yung good side lang of buying the latest book or yung recommended the book ng professor is that yung mga cases don yung mga jurisprudence, yung mga, mga landmark cases na ipoprovide ng book, is the same po na gagamitin ng mga instructors or na professors. So, mas maganda po na yung gagamitin na, na book is yung latest na edition. O yung mga recommended na editions na professors. But if you have your old books there, you can still use them because the same lang naman, yung mga articles tsaka yung thought ng mga articles doon. So, you don't need to buy new ones if you already have your old books. Okay guys, so where did I buy my books? So, nasabi ko na kanina, I bought them online. So, sa number one is sa Rex Bookstore. Sa second is sa Central Bookstore. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna link, I'm gonna put the link below sa my description box so you can buy your books as well. But again ha, huwag muna kayong bumili ng books if hindi pa kayo yung nire-require ng mga professors nyo sa mga books na kailangan niya for his or her discussion. So, maghintay mo na kayo kung anong advice ng professors nyo, kung anong editions yung gagamitin, tsaka kung kaninong book yung gagamitin niya. Baka kasi iba yung ginagamit namin na authors sa mga gagamitin ng professors nyo. So, hintay-hintay mo na kayo. Okay guys, so yun na nga sa delivery ng books ko. So, I paid it online. So, ang daming ways sa pagpay online. You can pay by GCash, debit card, or credit card, or PayPal. Yung iba nga na they, they allow for COD. Para sa akin, I find it very convenient sa online na purchase because yun na nga din, walang walang Rex na bookstore dito sa Bohol saka yung national bookstore dito sa amin is konti lang yung mga books na available so nagkakaubusan. Yung days naman yung delivery is the normal, if you are from Metro Manila area, so ilang days lang from from the time you purchase the books tapos pag nasa province ka naman po is tulad nung sa case ko, abutin talaga siya ng minsan 7 days o more pa mga 10 days kasi nga nasa province so but it's okay guys, the, the wait is very worth it, so it's very worth the wait so, question, are the books worth it? I tell you, yes, very worth it po ang books. Kaya dapat po talaga bili kayo ng books because during sa exams, during sa reading nyo po, advanced reading tsaka back reading ng lessons is yun talaga gamit na gamit ang books talaga. Okay, so yun nga po, yung advice ko lang po na wag mo na kayong bumili pag hindi pa required ng professors. Maghintay mo na kayo ng advice ng professors nyo. Tapos, kung anong editions yung kailangan, kung kaninong author yung kailangan ng professor. Next, advice ko din po na wag kayong magpapabili sa mga kaibigan nyo na hindi from law school who are not taking up law degree o basta yung hindi mga students sa law school because tulad nung nangyari sa kaklase ko ngayon guys so he asked his friend to buy him the book from Cebu because yung Rex Bookstore po is may branch sila sa Cebu sinabihan niya yung kaibigan niya to buy him the book tapos yung nangyari iba yung book na nabili medyo magkaparehas kasi yung itsura ng book yung instead of buying the constitutional law na book eh yung nabili ng kaibigan niya is political na book though they are just the same na ano but basta so 
instead na bumili ng constitutional book, hindi yung constitutional na book yung nabili. Medyo hawig kasi yung itsura ng book, kaya hindi na siya na mind na kaibigan ng taklase ko. So yun, medyo nasayang yung pera niya, tapos wala pa siyang book ngayon na nagamit. So again, if you're going to buy your book, then buy it yourself. If you're going to buy online, then you have to make sure na ikaw yung bumibili online. Again, hindi naman required na bumili ng book. You can just borrow books from those students who already took up the subject. Na kapag may mga books sila, may old books, then you can just use them, borrow them, and use them sa school. Or you can use your old books sa bahay, sa mga lolo nyo, or sa mga tito nyo, or whatever, na yung substance naman ay almost the same pa. You can also just do photocopies for some, for those important pages lang. So, yun lang guys. So, I just hope I was able to help you para you can have an overview of what the books you're going to use in the future. As well as, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa videos ko ngayon. And, pag may mga questions kayo about sa book, please write that one sa baba, sa main comment section. And, guys, I really love giving replies to your comments. So, again, comment that one below. If you have further questions, if you have comments about my video today, reactions po about this video, please don't forget to write that one below. As well as, kung may suggestions kayo for my future videos, please give me that suggestions. If I said something wrong guys, please correct me because hindi ko pa alam kung marami bang kulang sa man, mga napanggit ko o, o may sumobra akong binanggit. So please correct me guys if something na ganun. And yes, yun lang. And again, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram. And I also have my email if you want to send me some emails. Everything is naka-indicate po sa my description box. So yun lang guys. So again, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe. And I will see you on my next video.